Let us recap. Three years ago, you were sent to the center of the Earth as part of a top secret mission to ensure the delivery of Little Orpheus, an atomic powered capsule. You promptly vanished until you casually wandered up to Molodyozhnaya station. Three years later, claiming to have saved the world, but lost little Orpheus in the process. Is this correct? Yes, General, it is, but... You are charged with many, many, many crimes against the state, including desertion, lying to a superior officer, and sedition. Any one of these charges bears the punishment of execution by firing squad. General, you must be reasonable. I did my best. It's all true, I swear. I swear upon the lives of my family. Oh, do you? Auntie Marsha and Uncle Vanya, the traveling thinker and the pig dentist, or perhaps Cousin Pavel, the criminal mastermind with the unhealthy taste for eggs. How stupid do you think I am, Comrade Pavlov? Subtayu, it is all true. Maybe your toy maker, or was it watchmaker, father, who apparently taught you all he knew, despite being killed when you were less than five years old. I was a fast learner? You have precisely one minute to convince me not to summon the guards, and have you shot on the spot. A minute? A, a lifetime? It's all I need, General. was astounded. My father, I told you, I, I think I told you, he, he was a, a toy maker, and he often played with clockwork parts. Tavarish. But this, this made all those childhood wonders pale into insignificance. And it was fortunate indeed that my uncle, my uncle... Vanya, the pig dentist? No, uh, my, my other uncle, my uncle uh, uh, Sasha, had taken me mountaineering in the Urals during my childhood, for it was only by scaling these giant mechanical parts that I would reach Little Orpheus. Yes, I had been thinking that it seems awfully convenient that you were such an accomplished climber. I don't, however, recall any mention of this Uncle Sasha in your file. He was a very private man. He was man. a very unlikely man. That was Uncle Sasha's blessing and his curse.
those great wheels and cogs clashed and boomed. The vast hands of all time crunching forever and ever around. Ivan Ivanovich. Pendulums and springs and great big wheels and tiny little wheels. Tavarish Privalov, stop. Uh, though at least the Mienk were not here, especially as they seemed to infest the world below the surface. Mienkf, Mienkf everywhere. Mienkf, Mienkf, Mienkf. Many Mienkf. Mienkf for plenty. Mienkf. You're a bambling, Cobra. Enough. But where was Toll? Aha! Uh, high above. On the clock face, perhaps. With his radios and his crystals. Now, if, if I could just reach him, I could use the bomb. There is no bomb. You have no idea how to make a bomb. You have no idea about how to do anything one might actually expect of a cosmonaut. It's the bomb? Ivan Ivanovich! General? Time is up. Stop talking, Tavarish. You don't know what happens next. It is obvious. You've done very well. I applaud you for your efforts and your story. It is a wonderful tale, Comrade Brivalov. I have enjoyed it immensely. But every story needs an ending. And it is clear yours does not have one. Just need more time. I think that even if I gave you all the time in the world, it would not be enough. No, 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 General. I, I can do this. That is, I, I remember what happens next. I, 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 I just need to catch my breath and compose myself. We both know how this story ends, comrade. But a little obvious. You haven't heard what happened. We will find out soon enough. You will be executed, and another expedition will be sent. No! No, you, you cannot! You cannot! We must never go back! You don't understand! Make me, then! Make me understand! I am a kind man, although you may not believe this. I, I do not want to have you shot. So help me. Make me understand. Tell me what happened to little Orpheus. It, it was... Ivan Ivanovich? It was... Uh, uh, it was... No... I'm sorry, General. I'm sorry, I have no idea. You are right. I simply cannot see what happened next. It's just... a blank, General. There's nothing there. I am very tired, you see. Comrade, 
Ivanov. Ivan. You're right. It's over, General. Perhaps you would be so kind as to write to my mother for me. Of course I will. You are a kind man, as you have said. A and, General. Yes, Ivan. Was it a good story? Oh, yes. It was an excellent story. Thank you, General. I am just sorry I couldn't give you an ending. Unless... General? Quiet, Tovarish. I am thinking... Unless... I, I seem to remember that there were many problems with little Orpheus during production. General? Problems with the casing around the atomic battery. Uh, concerns. Concerns, General? Mm, yes, concerns. Unlikely though that might be. Yeah, it seems if I remember that it failed to secure properly. A sharp blow could spring the hatch and expose the fragile casing of the bomb to any would-be vandal. I'm not sure I follow you. A resourceful yet forgetful hero might, one would think, take advantage of that fact. But how, General? Where would I find something to strike it with? Mm, the son of a watchmaker would easily find something within a giant clock mechanism that resembled a hammer, surely. A hammer? Why, yes, General. I do remember now. I grasped the hammer-shaped thingamabob. Let, let's just agree it was a hammer, Ivan. Yes, of course. Let's do that. I recovered my senses, shook my head, and looked about me. In my distracted stupor, I had climbed further up the tower than I ever thought possible. In front of me was the clock face, and I gazed out through it at the sheer expanse of history. And I knew whatever happened next... Uh, happened next? The hand of destiny had fallen upon your shoulder. Yes, it had. And what an extraordinary hand it was.
And so, Thor was defeated. Little Orpheus destroyed, the bomb lost forever. N not just that, General. In that moment, time sprung back to its proper shape, and I found myself once more in Plutonia, as the start of my journey. But the wound in the interior sky was gone. The drill was gone. It was as if I had never been here. And they were milk, free and happy, without the tyranny of Toll, free to pursue their simple lives. But we can never go back? Never, General. One drill, one metal sphere, one lone cosmonaut was nearly enough to destroy time and unleash the tyrant Toll upon our world. Who would think an innocuous beeping radio housed in a ball of metal could change the world so dramatically? Who indeed? But tell me, what of you? And what of your return to the surface? I stayed amongst the Mienf for as long as I could. But I came to realize they had begun to worship me as a king. No, General. I am a good socialist and could not allow this worker's paradise to become corrupted. And so I left that wonderful land for the last time. And then? And then I walked. For two years I wandered, always looking for a way home through lands and worlds almost beyond imagination. Until one day I emerged blinking into sunlight and realized I was home. Until one day I emerged, j just like that? You just found your way back to the surface? Well, General, it was a little more complicated than that. There were great obstacles to overcome and terrible challenges to face and incredible lands to explore. Enough, uh, Little Orpheus is lost forever. The interior is sealed. You have returned with a story of socialism, triumphing over... Incredible odds. It is, as I said, enough for one night. Enough for my report, at least. General, if I may... Comrade Ivan Ivanovich Privalov, you are found guilty of all charges brought against you and sentenced to execution by firing squad. However, having listened to your story, I believe you are quite mad. In other words, I find your madness guilty, not you. And we cannot execute madness. And indeed, there are lessons to be learned, even in the depths of this madness. Perhaps the Americans were right to send the chimp after all. So, General? Get out of my sight, Ivan. Go home. Hmm? Enjoy a state pension as a madman. Just make sure I never see you again. Yes, General. Of course, General. Anything you say. I shall be small and quiet and live a life without excitement and... Out! <laughs> Until one day I just emerged. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Very good, Tavarish. Very good indeed. <laughs>